Hey, what's up everyone? It's Nate here. How you doing today? I just wanted to bring you guys a short video and detail out why I'm doing YouTube videos and why I'm putting out the information I am. So mainly my what I'd like to do is bring awareness and build some interest around pretty much majority of the trades. So for those of you that have been watching me for a bit or maybe you're even new to the channel, um, I'm a plumber. So majority of the videos that I do are pretty much plumbing based. Uh, but overall, trades um, is extremely important. And when I talk about all trades, what I mainly mean is like plumbing, HVAC, electrical, carpentry, and even mechanical. We, these are all great fields to get into, and there's always a demand for this type of workforce. And that's part of the reason why um, I'm doing what I'm doing. So I've been plumbing for almost 10 years now, right? I'm extremely passionate about what I do. I love plumbing. Um, you know, some days are a little difficult, but I, I truly love what I do, and that's why I'm so passionate about this, and that's part of the reason why I'm doing these videos. If I didn't really like what I did, I probably would not be here talking to you guys right now. In my time as a plumber, I've noticed this huge demand for people across all the trade jobs. There are a ton of jobs out there right now, and these positions are not being filled. So it made me wonder, is this a lack of interest, or do people just not know about these jobs? I know for me in the very beginning, I never really thought about it. I never thought about what a plumber was or an electrician or anything like that. I just kind of happened to stumble on the job and that's where I was like, oh my God, I love this. Like I'm probably going to be doing this forever or I'm going to be doing some sort of plumbing or whatever for the rest of my life. And that's where, and that's why I want to put the information out. so. People can see that there are these other type of jobs out there that are extremely beneficial. Uh, my life has been completely changed since I became a plumber across the board. I mean, my work is hard, don't get me wrong, but I make good money and I have a lot of skills right now that I would have not had had I not gotten into this field. So I noticed the demand, but I see the lack of individuals trying to get in or even qualified individuals as well too. So like one thing I noticed when I was training people, there are just certain people who um, don't belong in certain positions. I feel like that there is a, I feel like there's a job, I feel like there's a job for everybody out there, right? Even in the trades, there is a position for everybody, but it's about figuring out where to best fit a person in the business, right? And sometimes it's hard to do that with people, especially if they don't even know what they really want. So that's why it's important for you as an individual to know what you truly want. And if you don't know, you got to go out there and find it. And if you don't know, that's cool. Just go out there and find it. Do some different things. And that's, and that's why I talk about the trades all the time. There's not enough people going out there and even trying it. You know, at least give it a year. See what you can learn from it. If you don't like it, take a different career path. I'll tell you guys this too. These jobs are everywhere. Like I said, we're talking plumbing, electrical, HVAC, mechanical, carpentry. These jobs are everywhere. I don't care if you're in a big city or a small little town. There is a demand for these people, regardless of where you're at. The other big part of this too, a lot of people that are currently in the trades right now, they're older, they're getting ready to retire. So we need replacements for these retirees. So we need good individuals who are gonna replace these people that are getting ready to retire. One thing I want to bring up too that I constantly hear being thrown around is that people are coming here and taking our jobs, right? Well, I hate to tell you, that is going to happen until people here step up and start taking these jobs, okay? Because that's what we're going to see in the future. If people who are living here right now don't start taking up these positions, America is just going to start offering more visas for people to come over and do this work. So why are you not getting into this? So that is going to be the reality of it. And me personally, I don't see anything wrong with it because we have an infrastructure that we have to keep up in this country. And that's whether you're talking industrial, commercial, or residential. Things are constantly needing to be fixed. And if the people living here don't want to do that and don't want to do that kind of work, don't want to go out here and fix things, well, guess what? We're going to outsource and we're going to get people in that do want to do that kind of work and they do want to make this kind of money. And it is what it is. Don't be surprised by it. And I'll kind of I'll kind of leave this with one final thing too. Um, regardless if people want to get into the trades or not, I think it's beneficial for 
everybody to have some sort of basic skill, right? And if you look at any of the trades, they all offer you some sort of way to learn some basic skills. And that's why I push people to, you know, if you don't want to make a career out of it, okay, cool, but do it for a year. Become an electrician for a year. Become a plumber for a year. Or even, you know, like with technology out there, there's no excuse to not be able to go out there and to learn how to do something, whether it's something mechanical or whatever, sales, you want to learn something on the internet, go out there and do it. I'm pushing the trades so hard because getting in the trades, you get great pay. There is a ton of job opportunities. I've done a couple videos on this already, and I'll probably do some more in the future. But if I sit here and tell you about all the opportunities that come about from getting into the trades, it's going to turn into a 30, 45 minute episode. And nobody wants that. Not even me. <laughs> and the skills that you learn while being on these type of jobs is just like I don't I can't explain it it's just like you can take these skills anywhere in the world with you and what I mean by that is like like you're learning how to use tools you're learning how to like be creative and learning how to fix things and kind of like it's a lot of out of the box thinking and it really helps you grow like it has helped me become a completely different person and I think it's great like even if I did it for only a year or two it still would have completely changed my life and I would have always had a skill that I could have fallen back on. That's what I say too. If you get into it, you do it for a year or two, you don't like it, cool. Do a different career path. It's not going to make a difference. But let's say you go on a path, another path and you don't like that one. Well, you have those skills from either being a plumber, an electrician, or whatever you're doing. You could always temporarily fall back on that again until you figure out what you want to do. It's such a great thing to be a part of. And those of you who do well in the trades are going to benefit greatly. All right, now hit that like button and drop a comment. I'll see you guys on the next one.